Hey what's going on guys it's Mini here and today I've got another tournament tour which will probably be the last tournament tour in FIFA 12 just because to be honest I don't really enjoy playing FIFA 12 too much now I'm looking forward more to FIFA 13. I'm going to make a video about what type of series you want to see, see in FIFA 13 I'd appreciate it if you watch that as well because I want your opinion because I don't want to be I want to do videos that I enjoy doing but I want to do videos that you enjoy watching as well otherwise what's the point of making the video so if you watch that video, be I will be be appreciated, like because it's gonna be up in the next couple of days or the next week. So all these videos now, the next about five, there was one before this, and the next like three or four after this will be all scheduled uploads. So it's just if if they don't upload, it's a, or if you they don't come in your sub box because sometimes it can be a bit glitchy. Just check my channel if you want to see if you want to catch up on the videos that you've missed. But as you saw there, the Dean Natali finesse shots. That's why that's why I don't like about Dean Natale. He just seems to miss easy chances for me. I, I don't know what it is. I just I just can't play with him. It's my opinion. I don't really like him as a player in FIFA 12. Some people say he's beastie, okay, but the player I do like in this team is Rossi. And I know you think in the Italian squad there was about I don't know so a lot of squad builders ago. I'll be honest, but I've been having I had this club and country tournament tour for a while in my hard drive, so I thought I might as well edit it use it and commentate over it to make another video for you guys because tournament tours go down pretty well not as popular as the squad builders but i do enjoy making them and do enjoy playing tournaments but as i said fifa 12 has become a bit I don't know, stale for me nowadays i'm really i'm looking forward to fifa 13 with the new the, they'll have more tournaments they've also got the seasons mode as well like in head-to-head -head seasons if you haven't seen the train i'm sure there's about 50 breakdowns of it on youtube but that was a really nice goal i think that was from pale i'm not sure i wasn't really watching but there's it there's loads of trailer breakdowns, so if you haven't seen it, there's tournaments. I don't. Th the one thing I don't think you can play is single player games, which I don't know what that's going to do to sort of the road to glory aspects of the game. Because I was thinking of doing another road to glory because it went down really well in FIFA 12, and they're always popular at the start of FIFA as well. So I don't know whether to do something with seasons, but I'm gonna commentator more on that in the what you want to see in fifa 13 video but anyway i'll start commentating more about the gameplay we come up against this brazilian side after absolutely battering that person 7-1 with a lot of shots that should have to be honest scored a bit more there but he's got three at the back when you see three at the back you think it's going to be a bit of a more easy game because even though three at the back can be a good formation when there's it there's a really good player behind it it leaves a lot of holes especially on the wing and with this formation because the center attack mids are on the wide it really does exploit the slots where the right back and left back should be but it goes 1-1 one, one and nothing really much happens it was quite a boring game this one and it goes to penalties and i'll just show you the last of the penalties and of course i win the penalty i think that was the rossi putting away there but otherwise i said even though those shots are on target he was just long shots long punts out of goal and that so I go into the semi-final. Uh, unfortunately, I think Balzaretti has contract issues, so just showing you that. And going to the next game, just waiting here. It takes me a while sometimes to get into a game, but otherwise, during this game, eventually, once he decides to change his kit, I think that was a bit of me as well. But if we come up against an, like an, another Italian side, same formation as me, but with Ogbonna, like not as many in forms. With Mikkeli as well. Mikkeli is another person I would like to have in this team. And Cassano as well. cassano has got some really good uh, dribbling attributes, but his pace lacks a bit, and that's what I felt I needed on, on the centre attack mids, just because they were out wide as well. But Balotelli, really nice finesse shot there. That's why I said the 83 Balotelli is probably not worth it compared to the 81 Balotelli, but the 86 is the uh, purple team of the year card. But Balotelli, my Balotelli, uh, muscling his way through, and that's why you use Balotelli for, really. He's an absolute tank when he just runs through the defence, muscles people off, and even like muscles the types of like David Luiz off the ball, which is a plus, because David Luiz is an absolute beast of a defender, as everyone knows. But again, Balotelli, really, the start of the game in both his and my camp, but... I win two on, and then we go into the final there again. Not, not, not the best gameplay with this team. I just didn't seem to be able to flow really well with it. The passing was a bit off sometimes. The I don't know the strikers, the sent two centre attack mid centre forward, and Balotelli weren't just weren't sort of scoring the goals that I'd like him to. weren't really attacking a lot. And Giovinco's not a great, great player. I'll be honest. Maybe the inform will be, but otherwise you come up against this team again. A Belgian team with three at the back. I've already made a Belgian team before, and I know it's a very good team. But with three at the back, it's one of those teams that you that would be a really solid three at the back formation. Of course, as you saw Vermaal and company, 
and Vertonghen as well. But a little mistake there by him with the defender. I don't know whether it was his mistake or FIFA's mistake. Just not right. Not positioning right there. But Rossi gets a little dink into the back of the net. That's always appreciated in the tournament. You know, I, I get games where the luck goes completely against me. And I get games like this where the luck goes for me. Where that was a bit of lucky there. Just a little dribble. He probably should have tackled me. But otherwise, I won the tournament. I won the game 2-0. So, as I said, not the only first round was a high-scoring round. And that, that's generally the way it goes in tournaments. Because as you progress through tournaments, obviously it gets harder. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you think deserved it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, of course, hopefully you enjoyed the video. So, hopefully you're going to watch my next one. And I'll see you guys later.